Hey guys, Don's Appliance here. We're talking about some in-home maintenance you can do on your dryer. So we got a standard dryer here, we're gonna pop it open. A few things we wanna look at. I know everybody's number one pet peeve, the lint trap, all right? So these guys, everyone's different from make and model, but you know, you wanna just pick up all of this lint, all the fine particles. But, but let's take it one step further, gang. If you wanna get all in, right in here, see this? And you just wanna just vacuum it and get all this stuff out too. Let me see if I can do it. So you see what I mean? You just want to vacuum all inside here. I won't do it just because you won't hear my voice. But, you know, think about deep down in here, there's some lint that, you know, can get trapped, things like that. We're going to actually look inside. I know it's real tough to do, but we're going to check out the venting right here. Make sure this guy is lint free. Make sure there's no ink spots on the drum. We have another blog on how to clean that ink spot, but just, you know, rotate the drum a little bit. You know, check to see if there's anything that's stuck to it, any particles, any fabrics, things like that but this one looks nice and clean. We'll re back to this. Also, I want to close the door. The maintenance, so we want to check, like here there's no gaskets, but we want to make sure there's no buildup here. See that? We want to actually get a cloth in here, wipe these down, make sure the door lock is actually in good shape. Sometimes you people throw this and bang this too, so we want to make sure that's a solid. Excuse me, and also we want to just check out the top of it, you know, it's going to get dusty, it's going to get dirty, we want to use a micro towel or a clean towel just to keep it, you know, looking presentable and looking good too. Another one, we can get in the back, very back, we want to check the venting too. So, the vent in the back is going to be your other piece, you can move this guy out, remove it, and we can actually see, you know, that's a once a year process. We want to take that and make sure there's no build up in that line if it's kinked or how it's uh, stationed. So, a couple quick tips to keep your dryer running at top optimum speed. Thank you guys.